I greet you all, my great people, great mice, all CEOs from different parts of Nigeria. I come your way this time. By my time here, this is 12 zero four am and uh, by my calculation here this is more tuesday morning and uh, by the special grace of god today should be 20th of uh, february 2024 Thank you very much and uh, may God continue to bless every one of us. This is the voice of comrade Pascal Lanyang, the national president of all CEOs in Nigeria. And I come your way because it is important. I address you on the importance of being part of this platform and being part of these uh, CEOs in Nigeria. It is important also I let you understand that God is a faithful God. He has been on our side. And everybody should uh, all understand that uh, what you cannot do is bigger than you and what you can do also is what God has placed in your hand. Today, my beloved, I want to address you on this issue of uh, CEOs. I don't know how long you have been a CEO. I don't know how far it has been with you, how good or how bad it has been with you. But for those of us who actually genuinely are CEOs because it has mandate from God, they have things they want to do as a CEO because you are registered an NGO or cooperative or a company. There must be a purpose for that. And those purposes are things that has brought us all together to make sure we enhance it, to make sure it yields fruit, to make sure we make it materialize to that which is in your mind in registering such NGO. Yes, uh, whoever that introduced you to this should be appreciated because we have gone beyond waiting for only grants. This time around, we want to make sure we sit for the masses. We be in the gap for the masses and we bring to them what is rightfully theirs, either from the international community or from our own dear country, Nigeria. Yes, and we are making sure to see that all these things come to play and it must surely come to play. I think henceforth, CEOs have to take decision and decide on grants and how it goes and where it goes. It's no longer like before that uh, 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 grant handlers will come and play over our intelligence. As a body, we can now say no to most of all these things when they come. And no, bo uh, uh, no grant handler can again use our brain. I don't think it's possible. We all in oneness are appreciating God for using our country director our amiable and indefatigable CD, Ambassador, Adapt, uh, Ambassador Ad, uh, Dr. Ambassador Dr. Ken Makama, who God have decided to use to liberate us from grants. So many has come, they fell. But as a house, as an entity, we are coming to fight them one on one as CEOs. Every state, be 
strong and get ready because we are coming over for your inaugurations. We are coming over to make sure we make you strong. We are coming over to make sure you are where you are supposed to be. In the whole 36 state, we are going to make sure we have standard offices in the whole 36 state and our executives are going to be very powerful and strong. So it's no longer going to be like before that somebody will just get up from somewhere and tell us he has a grant, everybody will just run. If we have a grant this time around, you will talk to us, the CEOs, then we analyze it, we look into it, we weigh it, we see if it is worthy of us applying, then we apply as a body and then distribute to ourselves. It's no longer like uh, we going there to waste all our resources and everything. And if you want to follow up and we, it is your business and it's your own cup of tea. So we are coming together because a whole lot of things have been eluding us, ranging from the federal government to our local government to everywhere, even at the international communities. A whole lot of things are supposed to come to us, but because we are not organized, we are not together, these things are passing us by. But this time around, we are saying, no, we need to grab them and we need to bring them down to our people because we are representing the ordinary masses, the beneficiaries, our bundle heads, and all the rest of them. So, I want to say, you being here, you should count yourself privileged and you should appreciate whoever that brought you here. I don't want to go far by now, I just want to introduce to you a little and welcome you all to all your pl different platforms. Be careful, create your leaders, and uh, we shall be coming for inauguration. But remember, whoever you are choosing now is subject to change if that person is not capable or worthy. So choose a worthy person, choose an active person, choose a capable person. From here, I want to say again, thank you very much, and may God continue to bless every one of you. I want to appreciate my able princess ambassador, Bright Odo, who actually signaled me about all this. And I'm somebody who work with right, the right senses and right minds. And the minute she says so, I have to give her go ahead to make sure you guys come on board. And I'll bet you, and I promise you, I must carry every one of you along. In case any of you has an NGO that was not registered or did not verify or do screening during the verification and screening, just privatize her, let her know as you communicate to me, then we know what to do about that to make sure. But let that not pass today and let us tomorrow so that it can be part of the disbursement. I want to say thank you as I am still your own brother, Comrade Pascal Anyang. Thank you. And may God grant us all a very peaceful sleep. Thank you.